was no engineering program at the school I went to. When you go to college, you want to have a quality program because if your program is known as a quality program, then your degree has higher value in the industry. job with outreach is, um, is getting our students in the schools and inspiring young kids to consider STEM fields. So I run a program called the STEM Ambassadors, which our goal is to inspire kids, uh, give them positive role models, and then provide them with hands-on STEM activities where typically uh, we go into classrooms um, across the entire state of New Hampshire. As far as what middle schools and high schools can do to prepare, I would focus heavily on the skills of mathematics and even on the social skills, the project skills, the, the skills in um, how to work in teams effectively. And in addition, you want to have some engineering projects so you can see what it feels like to be an engineer. Um, I was interested in engineering because of mathematics and I really loved mathematics and at the time I was trying to think of what I what could you possibly do for a job as a mathematics besides being a math teacher and it, you know it, it came up short until I discovered that engineers are very very much in need of uh, high mathematics skills and that's when I made the choice. More than 50% of them are actually young women. So these young women are getting out into these communities and working with fourth, fifth, and sixth, and seventh, and eighth grade girls. And you know they're saying, "Well, I didn't." These young girls are like, "I didn't know girls could be engineers." I went to a public high school, and um, you know, just typical high school student. There was nothing at that point that was interested, interesting about me or about the school I went to. So. There was no engineering program at the school I went to. We have a very diverse, both male and female, and also international students and students of different races within our ambassadors. Um, there's more males. Engineering historically is a male-dominated field. You know, when I was on the job, we had one, one female engineer, uh, which was a shame because she was one of the best engineers in the, in the place. And um, it seems to be still true today. Uh, so I, uh, I went to a high school that also had, was also a vocational center. So uh, we had automotive, uh, we had a transportation technology class, which is one that I took, which is really neat. We learned about motors, we learned about bridge building, and sort of some of the basic engineering principles. Algebra and geometry and trigonometry is what I took in high school. There are approximately 497,300 engineers in America today. 20% of the engineering graduates are women, yet women only make up 11% of practicing engineering. Schools are making changes to their system to introduce students into the engineering field just so they might have an idea of what they want to do as a career. However, not enough kids are getting sufficient exposure to engineering as a result of the math requirement. Engineering employment has grown by only 0.6% since September 2014, adding 16,200 engineers to the workforce. Engineering, the entry level, is not college algebra, it's pre-calculus. Pre and um, if you take pre-calculus, you can take if you take college algebra, you can take one engineering class, or, very, uh, um, or 
design and engineering class, it's an industry simulation. If you have free calculus, you can take both engineering classes that are required. Um, and if you can take calculus one, then you're right on, on step. You basically have no restrictions. When you go to college, you want to have a quality program because if your program is known as a quality program, then your degree has higher value in the industry. So um, as, a, as students coming into college, you don't want that, that lowered. You actually want to have higher expectations, higher quality of students, and higher quality of programs. Because then your school has a better reputation, and your degree means more, and you get higher salary when you graduate. on the first year students. I really get a lot out of helping build the foundations. So I only teach the first year. And um, for me, that's the place that is where I can do the most good by building the foundations. Because by the time students are juniors and seniors, they already know their direction. They already know, you know what they're doing. They're just trying to finish up and get a job. But I found working with the freshmen, many of them don't even know their major yet. And to be a part of the making a decision that impacts the rest of their life. It's, uh, it's a great place to be. It's the only place I want is to work with freshmen. In the, our first year classes, they're heavily, um, they're heavily designed to give the students a taste of each engineering field. We do um, studies on the engineering fields. We do discussions on what it's like to to work in each field and they do problems from each field you know I may have a thermodynamics problem one, one day I may have a mechanical engineering problem the next day electrical the next day so students can after that first year they've had an opportunity to go through and see what it's like to solve engineering problems in each field and then they know what major they want almost always they know they know um, there's more males Engineering historically is a male-dominated field. You know, when I was on the job, we had one, one female engineer, uh, which is a shame because she was one of the best engineers in the, in the place. And um, that seems to be still true today. We want more female engineers. Um, I don't know, we actually have a, a bit more diversity than um, I would have expected when I came here to teach at UNH and it was a, a great thing because out in the field um, it was usually one race <laughs> you know and you know that lack of diversity actually hurts our competitiveness and and it's a, really a harm so I found here teaching that there is a lot more diversity and uh, it's still a, the majority is, is still a one gender and one race. However, uh, it's way more diverse here in a college environment than in the industry. Maybe that will change, hopefully. Hmm. What you really would need them to focus on is preparation because the engineering curriculum is hard. Um, as it should be. Um, engineers get paid a lot of money. It's a very high paying field. But if you know anything about economics, you'll realize that you pay a high price for something that is hard to get, or for something you really want. And the reason why engineers get paid so well is because there's not many of us. And the reason there's not many of us is because most people can't do the job. Um, so, um, as far as what middle schools and high schools can do to prepare, I would focus heavily on the skills of mathematics and even on the social skills, the project skills, the, the skills in um, how to work in teams effectively. And in addition, you want to have some engineering projects so you can see what it feels like to be an engineer.